In this video, we will present how to calibrate for UV with your spectrophotometer in Tools 2.0. We will be using the AATCC standard for CIE whiteness or the Datacolor Fluorescent Reference Standard tile for CIE whiteness. The CIE numbers for the Datacolor Reference tile are standardized from the AATCC standard. This is done with our UV Assured Maintenance Program. The color white is one of the most encountered in our environment. This is true whether the substrate is ceramics, plastics, textiles, shoes, or other materials. The brightness and consistency of white is equated with the quality of a product. The brightness of a white may be increased with the addition of fluorescent whitening agents. This adds a dimension of fluorescence which is not present in the normal non-fluorescent colors. The whitening agents absorb energy from the ultraviolet portion and re-emit it in the blue area of the spectrum. This is important because the UV content of a spectro's flash changes over the life of the spectro, and because it varies from spectro to spectro. Thus, readings of the same white may vary depending on the age and or the model of the spectro. Because of this, measuring CIE whiteness, or any whiteness, is like hitting a moving target without UV calibration. Spectrophotometers like the 850 with a UV filter wheel can adjust the amount of UV in its light source to a standardized UV amount. In this way, spectrophotometers can control the amount of UV so that they can read like one another. Standards for UV are produced to help calibrate spectrophotometers UV amounts. The standard that we will look at today is the CIE whiteness standard provided by AATCC. The instrument we use to calibrate the UV will be the Datacolor 850. To achieve this calibration, we will use the AATCC whiteness standard or the fluorescent tile calibrated by data color to the ATC reference standard. The UV Assured program guarantees performance of the spectro through replacement of essential parts pertaining to UV if needed. The UV Assured program is an add-on to the typical maintenance contract. Let's get started by having available your AATCC standard along with the AATCC method of use and a document about the standard. The AATCC procedure is Evaluation Procedure 11-2008. Or we could use the Datacolor UV Calibration Reference Tile with Associated Instrument UV Characterization Profile. The calibration of CIE whiteness with the AATCC standard is unique. The UV calibration and UV measurement method for whiteness uses the specular included condition with the spectrophotometer. All other CIE whiteness measurements with whiteness standards from other manufacturers use specular component excluded. Now we must calibrate the instrument for UV. First we go to the instrument tab, then click on the calibrate button. The setup will be specular included, large area view, and if this is the first time you've calibrated for UV, this UV D65 CIE whiteness setting will not be available, uh, so we will choose the 100% UV filter off and calibrate. And we'll be using our normal calibration tiles to set the black track and click ready. It'll take its measurements and then it will ask for the uh, white tile. We'll click ready and this is the normal white tile, normal white calibration tile, not the fluorescent reference tile that's only used during calibration of the UV filter wheel. And then after this we'll measure the green tile so put that green tile in place and click ready. This initial calibration is just setting up the instrument uh, for UV calibration. So we get our pass uh, here for our normal calibration. We're still on the instrument tab so we'll click on the uh, 
uh, icon that looks like a wrench and a bolt and go to UV D65 CIE whiteness. And from here, first we're going to put in the whiteness of the test tile. The whiteness of our test tile is 118.45. Then for AATC whiteness, it has to be specular included, as we mentioned before. And click OK. And we double check to make sure it's D65 CIE whiteness. Um, make sure that option is selected. Then we'll go down to the uh, Auto Calibrator button and we'll click on it. We'll set up our tile and it'll take some measurements against the either your AATCC standard or your fluorescent reference tile if it's been standardized to the AATCC standard. And it will continue measuring until it gets to a whiteness difference of one or less. And then after it gets to that difference, we can go ahead and select Accept. And we'll notice that our whiteness is 55.85. And click Close. Then when we go back to Calibrate, we'll have a new selection for the UV D65 CIE whiteness of 55.65. So that is our whiteness calibration. The CIE whiteness index and the whiteness tint will be used to evaluate whiteness. The index is an indication of whiteness. The higher the number, the brighter or whiter the white. The tint value is the specific hue of the white. Positive tint values being greener and negative values being redder. Now that you know a little more about CIE whiteness evaluation, you will need to set up the screen to show you CIE whiteness values for the standard, batch, and difference values. First. In the standard section, right click and choose grid configuration. Then click on the magnifying glass and in the filter dialog box type E313 and then highlight standard whiteness E313. Go back to the magnifying glass and in the filter dialog type tint. This is our standard CIE whiteness tint value. Then click OK. Our template will now display the new newly added headers, Standard CIE Whiteness E313 and Standard CIE Whiteness Tint. Right click in the Batch section and choose Grid Configuration. Click on the magnifying glass and type in E313. Highlight Batch Whiteness CIE E313 and click OK. Click on the magnifying glass again and type in tint. And below, highlight batch CIE whiteness tint. You also want to add the difference values, so click on the magnifying glass again and type in E313. And this time we'll add whiteness CIE E313 delta value, that's our difference values. Click on the magnifying glass one more time, type in tint, and we'll do CIE whiteness tint delta, so our tint delta. Then click OK. All of our new headers are now displayed. We can now adjust our columns so that we can better see our new headers. And once we have our headers adjusted, then we can right click again in our batch grid and choose Save as Template. We need to give it a new file name. So in this case, I gave it the file name CIE Whiteness Template. We'll also need to give it a new title, so I copied the file name. And pasted it in the title box. 
and when I click OK it saves the new template and we see the name of our new template up at the top.